Hey music lovers, Tim Nichols here and once again, Girder Music really has it going on when it comes to preservation and updating and refreshing of Christian music. So let's check out what I've got today. This is from Leviticus. Now, full disclosure, I got saved in like 1995 and this band's heyday ended in the late 80s. So I had never heard of Leviticus, but Girder what he does, he uploads uh, little snippets and bits of the songs on his YouTube channel. And I heard these guys and I was like, wow, they really sound great. And these four albums, there's actually a fifth one, Live at the Bob Fest. He has that one available. They're also available on vinyl. So if you want to check the images right here, you can see some of the vinyls that are available through girdermusic.com. Incredible stuff. They're color burst, color splash. They are beautiful, well done. But what really makes these things amazing is they are very hard to find anymore because of course they're out of print. They're not printing these anymore on the record label they were originally on. So he's not only got them back in print, but he's also repressing the vinyl. So it brings those prices down. I mean, these are less than $20 for the CDs and the vinyls are less than 40 bucks. So you don't have to pay those extraordinarily extravagant eBay prices. You can hop on Girder's website and you can check these out and you can order one. You can order them in a bundle set, which is a little bit cheaper, but it's really, really cool. So let's take a quick look. Okay, these are the four albums. I Shall Conquer, The Strongest Power, Setting Fire to the Earth, and Knights of Heaven. So I had never heard these guys before and when I first heard them on YouTube, I listened to this one and it's really interesting. It almost sounds like a Doors meets Pearl Jam meets Metal. It's really cool. And these other three, they have more of your classical metal sounds because they have three different lead singers. So they've gone through three lead singers through these four albums. So now let's take a look at the hardware here. We'll start with I Shall Conquer. Of course, you have the updated bright, more bold CDs. I don't have the original CDs to compare to because they're nearly impossible to find. But when you take out the sleeve, as you could expect with Girder, bright colors. You have pictures of the band with the band lineup and their original lead singer. And then you have the really nice lyric sheets with the good font that us older folks that are fans of these metal groups can actually read. And again, more posters, a centerfold, more lyrics. It's just so so well done. It also features the original Swedish cover because this is actually a Swedish band. So you can't hear their accent in the music. It always fascinates me with people that speak another language when they sing, they sing in perfect English. So then when you move to the CD, you have this bold reproduction of the album cover. That dude is just built like a brick. Really cool. You can tell that he's here to kick some rear end in the name of Jesus and cast out demons and all that good stuff. And then you have the orange back that just kind of gives it that extra little pop Legends of Rock here. Moving to the back, nice bold font on the back. And you also have your collector's card that has a picture of the band and some information about the album. Each one of those comes with that. When you look at the strongest power, you're gonna have the same thing. You're gonna have the record cover and the back cover, which I'm assuming that may be the original Swedish cover for this one. I've never seen that before. Anyhow, once again, you have the lineup of the band, pictures of the band, lyric sheets, centerfold. I mean, it's just like having a magazine right here. All of them, pretty much the same. Trading card. So this one would be 51, this one would be 50. Another trading card, 52. And I'm not super familiar with this band other than what I've listened to. I've listened to all these CDs. They sound great. Each of them are a little bit different. And a big bright bulb blue. Again, picture of the guitar player, lyric sheet, centerfold. This centerfold actually includes some lyrics on it because it's probably got some more songs than the other ones. Just really super sharp band lineup. Flames of Fire. And then lastly, again, another collector card, picture of the drummer, and number 53. So this is all of this set. I think the live album at Bob Fest also comes with a collector's card, but I'm not certain about that. So once again, Beautiful band, lyric sheet, centerfold. So it's like you just get a total upgrade with everything. And with the CD, again, you have a picture of the album cover on the CD. Back, nice, bold, large font. So really cool. Then when you get to the sleeve on the side here, you can see that that's pretty easy to read. Girder Records really doing a great job. I absolutely love these and I love being able to have these on CD. They're hard to find, but you can get them right now and they're limited. So you might want to get those now. I'll put a link in the description on the website where you can get directly to these. 
Have a great day. Keep calm. Jesus on.